delicious. Invite me any day for brunch or let's say I will invite you any day for brunch. I love fancy. I love breakfast food. I love beautiful setups and so I enjoy having brunch but making scrambled eggs, perfect scrambled egg like this for a small group of people or for even a big group of people can be very challenging. So I tried making scrambled eggs in the oven the last time I hosted a brunch and oh how perfect it turned out to be. Very fluffy, absolutely delicious, perfect, very less stress and I am sharing the recipe with you. I hope you enjoy it. So I'm going to be cracking 18 eggs, that is a dozen and a half. Yeah, quite a lot of eggs but if you are hosting about anywhere from 15 to 20 people that is a decent amount of eggs for you to scramble and of course you're having so many other things so people are not typically going to eat a lot of eggs but this is just going to be perfect for your number so i have all my 18 eggs cracked here and I'm going to whisk it. You want to whisk your egg to combine the yolk and the white before you add any ingredients. That makes your work so much easier. So after whisking for about a four minutes, your egg should be very well incorporated. At this point, I'm going to add some salt. Of course, this is going to be according to your taste, but you don't want to overdo it. People can always add salt and pepper when they serve the egg. I don't like to put cracked pepper in my eggs because I want it to have that beautiful yellow color with nothing else trying to take away from it. I've also added one cup of 2% milk. That is what I have in my fridge. You can use whole milk, you can use skim milk, whatever kind of milk you want to put there is totally up to you. Now I'm going to add five tablespoons of butter, which I have melted. You could use some cooking oil, but butter in your scrambled eggs just makes everything better. Okay, so butter is better and that's why I'm using that. But feel free to use whatever you want to use. And this is actually curry gold, of course. It makes everything so good. So anyway, I have my casserole dish here. This is what I'm going to be making my scrambled eggs in. I have some butter, which is at room temperature, so easy to spread. I'm just going to smear this in my baking pan just to give it, you know, a little coating so you your eggs don't really stick onto your your casserole dish or my baking pan in this process because I'm going to be making my egg in the oven so once the pan is all coated like this you want to make sure that all the corners also get a very good coating of your butter so that of course nothing sticks it makes cleaning at the end of the day a lot easier when you don't have your eggs caked to the sides and all burnt or cooked up I'm now going to pour my eggs in here Just like that I have my oven preheated at 350 degrees Fahrenheit and I'm going to cook this in here the first time it's going to go in here for 15 minutes so 15 minutes later I bring it out of the oven you want to stir this you're trying to get it into motions where you are getting your eggs that are already started to cook to come off and just be on the surface so you make room for more of the liquid um, part of your egg to get cooked as well just like you would do with scrambled eggs if you were making it on the stove top. I put it back in the oven for 7 minutes and it's been 7 minutes. It's out again and as you can see I'm getting bigger clumps of eggs at this time making the scrambled. And you want to do the same. Make sure you scrape the corners, the edges and the bottom especially of your casserole dish or whatever pan you are making your scrambled eggs in. By the way it works beautiful in such uh, casserole dishes. Once you can proudly say that you've done a good job of scraping the cooked eggs from the corners, the bottom, the sides of your casserole dish, you want to put it back into the oven and let it cook for another 7 minutes. 7 minutes later it comes out of the oven looking something like this. Just a little bit liquidy, almost done. You want to stir this again trying to break the big clumps and then it's going to go right back in the oven for just a little longer, about another 5 minutes just so it is not so liquidy and that is it your egg is done if you were making this ahead of time you know like preparing it overnight you could actually leave it at this point refrigerate and then the next day you're just going to warm it up in the oven and let it just form perfectly very simple actually so I put my eggs in for another five minutes and it comes out looking like this this is done at this point perfect 
just look at how gorgeous this is beautifully scrambled you couldn't even tell that this was actually made in the oven this is how you would find it when you go to hotels they make big batches of egg it is just made like this perfect if you meal prep this is a perfect way for you to make your scrambled egg refrigerate in portions grab it as you need it warm it up and you're good to go very simple very easy so i'm not going to just transfer this into my serving dish you can definitely serve it in the same casserole dish but of course you have your eggs sticking to the sides and depending on what event you have it it might not be so pleasant for you to just sit this there for people to serve themselves so definitely better to just transfer into something more desirable and you are good to go remember always presentation 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 how you serve your food is going to make people wish to eat it and have more and more of it because they're first going to eat with their eyes and speaking of presentation I'm just going to put a little bit of chives I have some chives in my backyard so I grabbed a few washed and chopped it just to give it a pop of color cover and that is it brunch is served these are some very fluffy absolutely unforgettable eggs that your guests are going to love most likely going to ask you how you prepared it they're gonna wonder how you made such a big batch of eggs and they turned out so good because seriously when you make big batch of scrambled eggs in the pan or the skillet it can be very very challenging yes this could not be any simpler absolute delight and of course you want to serve this with some pepper especially since i did not add any pepper in here and most people like pepper on their eggs you want to have your salt and pepper shaker handy so they can help themselves and if you are making this as a meal prep or make ahead then you can definitely make some breakfast burrito which i actually did with some of the leftovers so good well, I hope for your next potluck or your next brunch, you are going to make your scrambled eggs this way. It's going to save you a ton of time, very less stress, and just absolutely beautiful result. Thanks so much for watching. If this is your first time watching me, my name is Quan Chua. Making simple, replicable meals is what makes me happy. And I hope you subscribe to my channel. And until I come your way next time with something delicious, be loving, be kind, be happy.